Altcoins across the board have seen a beating over the past two weeks. And I want to just go ahead and give you guys some reassurance and also highlight the fact that this actually might be a potential opportunity as opposed to a drawdown back into what some people say might be a bear market. Welcome to Dapp Central, your home for everything blockchain and crypto. My name is Fareed. Now, as I mentioned and kicked off this particular video with, we've seen a huge bleed out session over the course of the last two weeks following the recent announcement of the Bitcoin spot ETF. Now we did get an immediate pump all the way up to about 49,000 with an immediate rejection and we're now trading right at around $42,000. As a result, you, as you guys can imagine, because Bitcoin has seen about a 15% drawdown, altcoins are actually down about 20 to 25% all across the board with Cardano not being an exception. Now, as more people come out and try to FUD our bags with, for example, a recent article that came out by a quote unquote research firm telling people to sell their ADA, now might actually be a best opportunity or the best opportunity in order to get positioned for what we definitely know is going to be an upcoming bull run now we've got the bitcoin having coming up in about um, three or so months once we actually have the bitcoin having historically there tends to be a supply shock and a huge increase in demand therefore a huge increase in price as well now, if you guys have been watching the channel, we've been grinding it out here over the past two years in the bear market. And as we get some of these pullbacks, these may actually be the last opportunities that we have to get into something like Cardano or some of your other favorite altcoins. Now, when you're doing that, you're going to want to go ahead and make sure to do that or do so utilizing the most information that you can. So I want to quickly just highlight three platforms that I'm definitely going to be using moving forward. And I'm going to keep this video relatively brief. But the first one I'm going to jump into is going to be the tap tools platform so if you guys are not familiar with tap tools this particular platform came out about a year ago and it's actually been one of the most utilized platforms by myself specifically in order to get any information that I need surrounding Cardano native assets. So as you guys can see here, they've got quite the list. We've got some of the top tokens or top fungible tokens, but we've also even got support for NFTs here as well. So this particular platform, very, very handy when it comes to not just verifying prices and viewing charts, it also actually provides a portfolio platform as well. So if you want to quickly go ahead and track your particular wallet, track some of your assets, you can do that utilizing something like tap tools. In addition, you can actually view all of the existing wallets. You can also get access to news. They've got a wallet profiler and one of my favorite tools, which is going to be the money flow. So this basically breaks down the net inflows and the net outflows. And they also even break down exactly which assets some of those, um, um, inflows and outflows are flowing in and out of. So as you guys can see here, we've got a breakdown depending on wallet size. We've got inflows and outflows depending on certain tokens. And we've also got inflows and outflows for NFTs as well. Now, I say that to say this is not a sponsored video by any means. Again, these are platforms that I personally use on the daily. But if you guys want access to the pro version, they do have the tap tap tools nft or the tappy nfts which are available on jpeg.store if you want to keep things simple they do offer a free version obviously you're not going to get as many tools um, with the free version as you would with the tappy tools or the tappy nft i should say but i wanted to quickly touch on that particular platform so with respect to just keeping up to date in these drawdown periods right if you're looking to build your bags um, solidify some of your bigger positions i definitely recommend checking out tap tools the second platform i want to highlight is going to be poke so Poke is another wallet profile or a wallet portfolio platform, I should say, that also offers a free version or a basic version, as well as a pro version where you can add unlimited wallets. You can track your fungible assets. You can track your NFTs and you can actually, you can actually also get some uh, specific insights as to um, how well your portfolio is balanced, etc. So this would be in addition to something like the portfolio platform on tap tools. This is another platform where I do hold the pro pass. Again, not a shill, but um, a platform that I definitely find to be genuinely useful. And a cool thing about the uh, the Pokey platform, excuse me, is the fact that they do also have a version available for mobile. So whenever I'm on the go, I have the Poke Pro, uh, Poke. 
Pro um, mobile application on my phone, which allows for me to quickly check out my portfolio. Again, it allows me to connect to platforms like JPEG, and they also even have alerts um, depending on which particular assets you want to keep a closer eye out on. So make sure to go ahead and check out this platform. Definitely one of the uh, more useful platforms that I've run into over the course of the past couple of months. Now, the very last uh, platform I want to highlight Again, not a shill, it's going to be the Cerberus platform. So I just had an interview with the Cerberus team. I spoke with Noah and Simon, um, breaking down everything that their risk and um, portfolio management platform has to offer. So when you're looking at some of these tokens on tap tools, if you want to get a better idea as to you know how risky they are, how well known they are, how many wallets are associated with them, and everything else like that, you can jump over to a platform, for example, like Cerberus. Now, again, they do have a free version. They've also got an upgraded version, which requires their Zersher NFT. I did actually get one here from the team. If I jump over into the ecosystem page here, I want to go ahead and just quickly show you guys what you can, what you can actually see from a visual standpoint. So here we've got a quick risk versus growth map. I'm going to be jumping into this a little bit more on some of my additional videos, but this quickly gives you an idea as to how well a particular project is doing. So for example, a lot of people hold SNEC. With respect to SNEC, we've got over 18,000 holders, right at about 19,000. We've got a risk rating of triple B with a growth score of moderate. If we look over, for example, at NM and Maker, we've got 7,000 wallets with a double A risk rating with a growth score of high. So again, with a very quick view you can identify which tokens might be a safe bet and which ones might be a little bit more risky that you may not want to invest as much in now this is only a small fraction of what the entire surplus platform has to offer and again i will be breaking down all through these platforms in future videos but i wanted to just put this video out here as a brief reminder you know when the prices are down, don't look at that as a negative thing. Of course, my channel doesn't necessarily focus on price all of the time, but during these small drawdowns, I tend to get more and more comments surrounding how we're heading back into the bear market. So again, this is the time to educate yourself, the time to fortify any um, sort of concrete bags that you have belief in or projects that you have belief in, and you want to go ahead and utilize the best platforms in order to do that. So I recommend checking out Tap Tools. Again, they've got a completely free version. Check out the Poke platform. Again, they've also got a free version and then Zerberus as well, which also has a free version. If you want to take it a step further, you can always go ahead and pick up their specific NFTs, which will give you access to the full platform or the pro versions of all three of those protocols. That will do it here for today's video. A quick, a quick and brief video. I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. As always, if you guys found this particular video to be helpful, I would appreciate you if you could smash that thumbs up. If it's your first time stopping by DAP Central and you want more content like this, consider subscribing. And last but not least, if you have any questions for me, then make sure to go ahead and leave a comment down below. That's it. As always, I will see you guys in the next video.